Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Buryawan and today we're going to talk about the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 mm. Let's go. Very quickly, today I just want to talk about the Panasonic 8 to 18 mm f2.8 to f4. So this is a Leica branded micro four thirds lens and this is an ultra wide angle lens that goes from an equivalent of 16 to about 36 millimeter in full frame terms. As some of you might already know, I'm a huge advocate when it comes to minimalism in photography gear, meaning that you just need to use whatever you already have. You don't have to buy new gears. However, <laughs> sometimes gear acquisition syndrome can still get the best of me. And that's the reason why I bought this lens. If you followed my channel, you might already know that my favorite ultra wide angle lens for micro four thirds is this guy right here, the Lawa 7.5 millimeter f2. And this is a really great lens when it comes to ultra wide angle photography, as well as for video and for landscape photography and for a little bit of astrophotography because of its large f2 aperture, as well as the ultra wide focal length of 7.5 millimeter. This lens is really sharp. It's really contrasty. It's so small. It's so lightweight. It's not really that expensive. This is almost perfect. I said almost perfect, not completely perfect. There are still some drawbacks when it comes to the Lawa 7.5 millimeter F2. Two things actually. First is the autofocus. There's no autofocus on this lens as some of you might already know. It's manual focus only and uh, it's fine most of the time because this is an ultra wide angle lens, meaning that you can set the focus to hyperfocal and just uh, kind of shoot it right away. And uh, the second problem is that it doesn't have zoom, meaning it's only a single focal length, 7.5 millimeter. It cannot zoom in, it cannot zoom out. However, on my recent trip to Iceland, when I used the Lawa 7.5 millimeter, I started to feel the limitations of this lens, uh, getting in the way of me uh, trying to photograph some of the landscape in Iceland. I kept accidentally bumping into the manual focus ring of this lens and ended up with blurry shots of the pictures of some iconic landscape locations in Iceland. And that's very unfortunate. And also I have to keep changing cameras or lenses with this lens because it doesn't have zoom capabilities and I'm just limited to one focal length. And those are the reasons why I switch into the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter F2.8 to F4. I'm not completely switching. I'm not selling the Lawa 7.5 millimeter. I think this is still very useful. I think it still has place in my photography toolbox. And in the future, I will still use it frequently, maybe still more frequently than the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18. We'll see. So as I said before, the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter here fixes two things about the Lawa 7.5 millimeter. First, it has autofocus, so I no longer have to rely on manual focus all the time. I can just use autofocus and it's more convenient and more secure most of the time. I can still do manual focus if I want to. This has a manual focus selector right here, or I can use the manual focus selector on my camera body. And the second thing is this lens zooms from eight millimeter to 18 millimeter. So let's talk a little bit about focal lengths. Eight millimeter is considered ultra wide. This is very useful for landscape photography, for travel photography, for scenery photography, anything that requires you to get so many things in the frame, eight millimeter can do it. And it zooms all the way to 18 millimeter, which is about normal wide. About normal, I would say. I'm not really big on the 50 millimeter or 25 in micro four thirds as a normal focal length. I'm more inclined toward 20 millimeter or 18 millimeter. 18 is not really that far from 20 millimeter. One of my favorite prime lens for micro four thirds. And yeah, I can just compromise a little bit, go down from 20 to 18, and I don't have to bring the 20 millimeter. And yeah, about 60% or 70% of what I do in terms of photography and video are covered with this lens, a focal length range from eight millimeter 
to 18 mm. So yeah, with the flexibility offered by the focal length range of this lens, I can replace my Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7 that's recording this video right now, my Olympus 9-18mm to f4-f5.6, to F5 my Lawa 7.5mm f2, and also my Panasonic 12-35mm to f2.8, and also my Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7. So that's five lens being replaced with just a single lens right here. Still talking about lenses, so in the future, uh, my future travel photography and video setup will uh, consist of the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter f2.8 to f4 as my primary lens for ultra wide photography and video as well as a little bit of normal wide for street photography for landscape for just general out and about photography this will be my choice when it comes to travel photography and my secondary lens which will cover ultra telephoto uh, focal lengths will be covered by either the Panasonic 14 to 140 millimeter or the Panasonic 35 to 100 millimeter f2.8 or the f4 to f5.6 version. So yeah, I got three choices to cover the longer and telephoto focal lengths. I'd probably skip on the Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter f2.8 since it overlaps just a little bit. Uh, although I'm missing about 25 millimeter to 35 millimeter, I can just ignore that because I'm usually fine with 20 millimeters anyway. I can just step forward a little bit to get uh, the same similar composition, although the compression might be different. So yeah, I can ditch one lens when I travel. And if I turn out that I miss the 12 to 35 millimeter focal lengths, I can just bring an LX100 instead. So the Panasonic LX100 has a similar focal lengths with the built-in lens already and it's almost similar weight so yeah i can just ditch this and i can bring a third camera if i really need that 25 to 35 millimeter focal lengths so now let's talk a little bit about image quality of the 8 to 18 millimeter so i had the lens for about one week uh, already uh until today and I've been testing out this lens uh, for a few days already and I bring it out on a photo shoot to shoot a little bit of decoration for wedding and that kind of stuff so this is going to be a real world usage of the 8 to 18 millimeter and some things that I can say about the image quality is first that it is sharp it is definitely really sharp uh, the center sharpness is about as sharp as the Lawa 7.5 millimeter f2 and uh, what I'm impressed about this lens is not the center sharpness because every micro photos lenses that I've tried they're all sharp in the middle so no question about that but but the edge and the corner sharpness of this lens is amazing it's really really something else i can really see that it maintains sharpness throughout the whole frame so that you can uh, get more technical when it comes to this lens if you, you're doing architectural stuff with uh, your photography then this lens could be a great choice because the corner sharpness and the edge sharpness is just better compared to some of my lenses if you want to achieve maximum sharpness using this lens, you could stop it down a little bit to f4. However, I'm happy with the result at f2.8 already. So uh, maybe I will just occasionally stop down to f4 if I really want to get a uh, critical sharpness with this lens. And maybe 5.6 if I want edge to edge, corner to corner sharpness with this lens. In terms of color and contrast, there's nothing really offending and when it comes to this lens. I find that uh, the image are contrasty, they're all punchy, the colors all look fine. However, I noticed that uh, there's a little bit of a unique look when it comes to this lens. I cannot really describe it, there's that kind of mojo that I get, uh, some kind of a unique look uh, where some colors are being emphasized on the image that I took. and. Yeah, maybe it's because of the Leica branding. I don't really know. Uh, because I experienced the same thing with my Panasonic Leica 15mm that's currently recording this video. Uh, they're not really the same kind of look. They're kind of different. Uh, 
And however, it's uh, something that I think is unique to this lens because with my Lawa, I don't really kind of get that same representation of colors. I noticed that the greens are a little bit more greener and then the yellow and orange, they're a little bit more emphasized. Uh, not really in a bad way. It's more in a pleasing way, in a more vibey kind of way. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, there's that kind of unique look that I got from this lens. Now that I've talked about all the good things about the Panasonic Leica A to 18 millimeter, now let's talk a little bit about the bad things of this lens. First, uh, the variable aperture. Uh, it doesn't stay constant at f2.8. So it goes from f2.8 at 8 millimeter and it goes to f4 at 18 millimeter. Well, I wish that it stayed 2.8 all the time because, you know, uh, I want to get that lower light capabilities uh, a little bit more from this lens. However, uh, doing so might increase the size of the lens and that could be a problem for me. Second thing, I really wish that it is not 8 to 18 millimeter, but it is 7 to 25 millimeter. But doing so, again, could make the lens bigger and more <laughs> expensive as well. So yeah, I'd have to learn how to live without 25 millimeter. And I think I already know how I'm just wishing that it could go a little bit longer on the, on the telephoto end of the lens and a little bit wider on the ultra wide side of the lens. So yeah, now let's talk about comparison to similar lenses. So I've already had a Panasonic 7 to 14 millimeter f4 um, on the past. I've already sold that lens. Uh, however, I can say that the Panasonic 7 to 14 millimeter is also sharp. The only thing that it lacks is the filter thread. Uh, that's very important for me because for landscape photography, I want to be able to use ND filters. So uh, the Leica A to 18 millimeter has filter threads. It's uh, 67 millimeters, so it can accept ND filters and uh, circular polarizer and whatnot. And I've already tested. Uh, I can only use one single filter because if I stack two filters, then I'll get a mechanical vignetting on the corners of the lens. Anyway, the 7 to 14 is as sharp as this guy right here, but it only goes to 14 millimeter instead of 18 millimeter, and it cannot accept ND filters or any kind of filters because the lack of filter thread. And also the maximum aperture is only f4, whereas this guy goes to f2.8 at the wider angle. Compared to Laowa 7.5 millimeter, this guy has autofocus and zoom. However, the Laowa wins when it comes to larger aperture of f2. So I will still use this guy for astrophotography and also for a little bit of more specific uh, wide angle purpose. Compared to Olympus 7 to 14 millimeter f2.8, I think that lens is better because it is constant f2.8. However, it only goes to 14 millimeter, whereas this goes to 18 millimeter. And the Leica has filter thread. Once again, I really need filter threads. You can use filters with the Olympus 7 to 14 f2.8, but you have to use third party external adapter or something like that. There's also Olympus 8 to 25 millimeter f4. I really wanted that lens. I really think that lens is perfect. Well, yes, it's f4. I can live with f4 if I really need to. It also has filter thread. However, when I checked out the price of that lens, it was just insane for an f4 lens. So I ended up with the Panasonic Leica instead. There's also this little guy, the Olympus 9 to 18 millimeter f4 to f5.6. I really love this lens. I think this is also uh, one of the greatest travel lens, especially for ultra wide angle focal lengths. And this is also sharp. However, nine millimeter is not that wide. Uh, in my opinion, when I used it in New Zealand a few years ago, it was good enough for my needs, but I still feel that it's not wide enough most of the time. So yeah, eight millimeter is not all that far from 7.5 millimeter of my Lawa. And I think that uh, during my testing, eight millimeter is enough for me. It's wide enough. 
And another lens that just came up recently, the Leica 9mm f1.7. I really think that's also a great lens. It is also small, it is priced reasonably, it's not that expensive, it is weather sealed, and it also has autofocus, so it's perfect. However, 9mm, again, not wide enough for my needs, and also it doesn't have zoom, so it's not as flexible as the Leica 8 to 18 mm so yeah, in conclusion, the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 mm here is really a great lens. The image quality produced by this lens is really good. It is sharp, it is contrasty, it is punchy. It has that kind of unique look. And then the focal length is really flexible from 8 to 18 mm. You can cover a lot of things from landscape to street photography to general purpose photography with just a single lens. And the large aperture of f2.8 at the 8mm really helps when it comes to lower light situation as well. So before I end the video today, I just wanna, you know, quickly mention the point about gear acquisition syndrome. So I have to come clean to you all that this lens is a little bit of a case of gear acquisition syndrome. I don't really need this lens because I already have so many other different kind of lenses that uh, has similar functionalities as the 8 to 18 millimeter. I already have the Olympus 9 to 18. I already have the Lawa 7.5 millimeter, and they're all great lenses. And if I am patient enough, if I am skilled enough, if I am, you know, uh, more dedicated towards my photography craft, I don't really need to buy this new lens. I just want it. Uh, however, it comes with a really great price and I think I cannot miss it. So yeah, I just want to, you know, be reminded for myself and hopefully for you guys all that we don't really need all the latest and the greatest and the newest gear when it comes to photography. We need to improve our skills. We need to be more patient. We need to be more dedicated. We need to keep learning new things. Gear is just one part of the equation. Uh, when you uh, upgrade your gears, you only improve that fraction of the whole equation. You also need to improve yourself as well. So yeah, don't be tempted with new gears all the time. Uh, just try to maximize what you already have. And yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoy my little uh, sharing about the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter. So if you have this lens, uh, please comment down below. How are you enjoying the lens? How it works and how it's been performing so far for you. And also if you have any other questions about this lens, uh, please uh, comment down below as well and I will try my best to answer them. I want to apologize that I haven't really answered to any comments for this last past few weeks because I'm a little bit busy in the office right now, but I will try to make time in the near future. Also don't forget to support my small channel by liking this video, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and goodbye.